So let's change it to the size to medium, like that. Let's convert it to outline. Let's make it active. The state can be hover. Hello everyone, this is Payan. Welcome to Undesign channel. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can create an accordion component using Figma's features like variants, auto layout, boolean, and variables. So let's just go right ahead and create our component. The first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hit T on my keyboard to create a text, like so, and I'm gonna call it accordion title, like, like that. And then I want my accordion to have the option to have an icon uh, on the left. So what I can do is basically hit Shift I and find an icon like profile. Something like that, you can choose any. I'm just gonna add this here. And the next thing we need an icon here to open the accordion. And then what I can do is basically again hit Shift I and find an icon like a Chevron down or something. Down. And then from this library, I can basically choose any of them. I'm gonna go with maybe I'm gonna go with a sharp icon like this. And then I'm gonna place it here. I need another icon to have when the accordion is closed. Actually, it's opened. So I'm gonna change it to chevron up, arrow up, like so. Let's select all of these and set their color to title, like so. I need also another text for the description. So I'm gonna create a text here and um, we can like type, this is where the description goes. Please replace this text with your own. Something like that. And then I'm gonna set the text size to body 10 and set the color to body, like so. Let's reduce its size a little bit. And as you can see, it doesn't look much like an accordion, but you can see that whenever when we style it, it's gonna be just like that. So I'm gonna first, I, I need this icon to be close to this one, but the spacing between these two should be dynamically updated whenever I resize my accordion. So what I can do is basically select these and group them via auto layout. So I'm gonna select these and hit Shift A and set the um, actually alignment to left center. Set the uh, variable to eight pixels. Actually the gap, I'm gonna select the gap from my variable so I can edit it in future. Uh, please make sure to check those videos out if you want. I put the uh, link to the playlist down in the description. Here you can learn how you can create a complete design system from scratch. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is basically select these and hit Shift A like that and set the alignment to left center. Here, this is important because I need to sh set the gap here to auto because as you can see, if I like resize it, the, the spacing gets updated automatically. All right, then I'm gonna also set the height of the whole thing to 24. I'm gonna let you know why. And let's go ahead and connect it here. Then I'm gonna select all of these, like so, and hit Shift A one more time to create another auto layout. Let's set the spacing to 12, like so. We need a background color, so let's go with one of the surface. I'm gonna go with the grayscale surface. It's, it's gonna be default, subtle, like that. Set the left and right padding to 12. Set the top and bottom padding to 12 as well. Let's add a corner radius in my from my variables. As you can see, we have the corner radius here. I'm gonna go with 12 pixels, like so. All right, now we have almost completed creating the style of our accordion. 
Actually, I'm going to change the color of these two, maybe subtitle, like so. Now what I can do is basically select both of these and set their width to fill container, like that. And that's why whenever I want to like resize this, you can see that everything gets updated. Don't, don't worry about these two icons. I'm going to show you why we have two here. But let's go ahead and create a component out of this one first. So I'm going to select this one, hit this icon here. And then I'm going to rename it to Accordion, like so. Then we need to add our properties. The first thing is going to be our text which is going to be the title, the value is going to be accordion title, like so. And the next one, for the next one, I'm going to copy this one. I'm going to create another property, which is going to be the text. It's going to be description and paste my text here. All right, let's connect them. So I'm going to connect this text from here to my title and here again to my description like so I also want to add instant swap icon so it's gonna be the left icon I want to pick profile like so and create the property let's select the profile and connect it to, to our left icon now here is where we need these two icon so I'm gonna create two instant swaps what the first one is gonna be active icon which is going to be to the top which is going to be the up icon let me search for the up icon arrow up and let me find that icon here easily it's gonna be the sharp one if we can find it here yep maybe yep this is the one i think and again, we're going to create another instance swap, which is going to be the inactive icon. These are the right icons. Basically, I can basically add the right here. But for now, I'm just going to leave it like that. And let's find the down one. Arrow down, arrow down. I'm going to find it, I think, a little bit more if I scroll a little bit more down. Um, yep, that's it. And let's connect them to those. So this is the arrow up, which is going to be the active icon. And this is going to be the inactive icon. By the way, let's once again change the color to subtitle. Like so. And now let's go ahead and create the active state, basically. I'm going to create a variant. I'm going to call it active by default it's going to be false let me increase this a little bit all right now let me duplicate this one and this one is going to be true and when it's going to be true I'm going to remove this icon like so and from here I'm going to remove this icon and the text underneath like so let me put them underneath so you can see it better and then we can basically go ahead and add any property that we want and so let's just go ahead and do that but before doing so i think oh we need another boolean so let me create a boolean from properties and by default it's going to be false. The name is going to be left icon. Left icon. And then in order to toggle these, I can basically select these and select their layers to Boolean. Actually, I need to rename this one to rename this one to left icon. Or you can basically rename this to icon. Let me drag it and bring it here, like so. All right, now I'm going to add the other ones. 
and you can see that actually let's select these I want to set the left padding to 16 I think that looks a little bit better but we can go with both 16 like so yep I think that's better all right I'm gonna add other properties I'm gonna pause the video here and I'll see you in a sec to test the property basically test the component so I'll see you in a sec all right I added all the variants that I need and let's go ahead and quickly test it out I'm gonna create uh, a frame just to show you and then I'm gonna hit shift I and find accordion like so drag and drop it here like that set it uh, center I'm gonna make sure it's activated like so and basically you can do anything with, with it as we did here so let's change it to the size to medium like that let's convert it to outline let's make it active the state can be hover default forecast we have the disabled one change it again to non outline one set it to default add an icon you can add the I change the icon here and uh, basically anything you can imagine and it's fully responsive you can basically change its size and not worry about uh, messing up the whole alignment let's again set it to be active set the state to hover change it to outline uh, because it's hover you can see that we have a background for the outline one let's make it focus disabled and something like that and also you can basically change the title title to any text you want you can change the icon here left icon to like something else and basically anything that you can imagine and yeah that's it for this video thank you for watching please let me know what you think on the comment section below i need your ideas to continue the series and that's very kind of you if you let me know also subscribe to the channel and like this video so this video gets shared more with the other designers and please also ch uh, make sure to check out the other videos on how to create a complete design system from scratch where you learn how to add variables create buttons color tokens typography system and all that i'll put the link down in the description again thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one Cheers.